Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a wildfire update Monday, September 14th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. What to know today about the destructive fires in Washington State and on the West Coast and the conspiracy theories, which we will debunk. Firefighters are battling some 30 fires in Washington and Oregon currently. Howling east winds early last week drove huge fires across the region, including on the west side of the Cascade Mountains, where wildfires are less common, but be, can become quite massive due to the desert environment there. So there's that. Let me just adjust that a little. A supermassive smoke plume billowed into the region over the weekend, and Monday's air quality forecast continues to look grim across most of western Washington. If you want to know how to reduce your exposure, you can click on this link, which will be linked below. Throughout Monday on this page, there will be posting more updates, but we can quickly take you over to that air quality index here as it drops around the state into very unhealthy to hazardous conditions in many regions. The only place that's looking good here, Oak Harbor, still unhealthy, but many of the regions hazardous to very unhealthy conditions. Everyone should limit the time outdoors, avoid, avoid strenuous outdoor activities. People with heart or lung disease or those who've had a stroke should consult their health care provider about potentially leaving the area. But we know how, what masks do. So, Wildfire live updates. Blazes are reaching once tranquil places. Lake Madrone in California and Skyo. Skio? Oregon are among some of the communities forced to deal with wildfires after long avoiding them. Now the problems in many of these regions is reduced, uh, increased fuel due to reduced clear cutting. There's very little wood coming out of these forests. There's almost no forest breaks. And more importantly, environmental issues like the spotted owl and other things have kept standing wood up to six to eight million trees in this region just sitting there waiting for a spark to strike. Now after some progress, Dry and gusty conditions spark new fire fronts. So we're going to talk about some in Utah. Trump blames poor forest management as well as Diamond. And Biden calls, calls him a climate arsonist because Biden is fed lines. In Oregon, blazes are reaching into areas untouched by fire for decades. And lakefront cottages are reduced to ash in some California communities. As we just talked about the air quality. Here is the August complex fire and the North complex fire in Northern California. Central California, Chico, Yuba City, Lincoln, Ukiah, Mendocino on the fringe of this. But, and you can see the red spots are where active fire is burning. Um, I don't know what color that is. Brownish lavender areas have, are the areas that have been burned. Now, death toll rises to 15 in Butte County. As of today, and this is in California, Unfortunately, I also have to report tonight that uh, we recovered the remains of one additional person who appears to. So John Butler, 79, and Sandra Butler of Berry Creek were found near their home. And many other people's lives have been lost in this tragedy, which could have been averted had there been proper forest management for the last several decades. But that's in our past and our future. Hopefully we will follow in the footsteps of Australia that seem to take their out of there and have started a very um, extensive forest management plan currently with clear cutting and burning the way we do it in Colorado here. And it should be done all over the world. Wildfire updates in Utah, new fire sparks near University of Utah with two homes evacuated. So fires all over the West as California Governor Garen, Gavin Newsom confronts Donald Trump today after Trump's in his simple phraseology, which is completely embarrassing that that's our president, um, explains that burnt sticks and stuff are the problem. And he's right, even though he explained it like a fourth grader. It's poor forest management. We all know that. Except for Governor Newsom, who says it's climate change. And that's his opinion. Well, that's simply to cover his ass because he didn't do anything to prevent these fires, which is pretty typical of politicians, in my opinion. Now, firefighting drones. These babies have been around for almost two decades. Since 2006, over one third of all the emergency, emergency management uh, groups across the US have purchased drones. One third of them being firefighting groups. Uh, 
Now these drones have been utilized for some of the most amazing um, visuals and information coming into the fire front to keep firefighters safe. They can map the fire, fire growth, the movement, the amount of smoke, homes, etc. This is a completely new technology which is keeping firefighters safe and helping fight fire, fire more efficiently. Now, lots of nonsense going online over the last three days. While I was in Crestone, I almost lost my mind. I almost got derailed, but I waited till I got back to make this video because people are sharing such nonsense and not a single person is doing any uh, due diligence as far as research. If you just research 15 to 20 minutes on firefighting drones, none of the nonsense that has been coming out on social media would even exist. Now, have you ever heard of a dragon drone? I didn't think so, which is why you're continuing to push this narrative of conspiracy theory that certain groups are lighting these fires, which couldn't be further from the truth. People I even respect with hundreds of thousands of viewers posting nonsense on their social media that this is uh, some type of covert uh, antidote group uh, using drones to light fires. And they're all basing this on this video here, which I saw a week ago. Oh my God, it's true! They're doing it! Yeah. Yeah, they are. In fact, they're using gasoline and napalm there. Now, let me just describe the scenario here. Here's an existing fire break. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a road. It could be a river. It could be anything. But there are no trees here. This is an existing fire break that they are now lighting on fire here on the right side. It could be the eastern or the western side. I don't know what position this is from. This has been, this is a typical firefighting tactic called the burn back. The fire is over here to the right and they are lighting this so that this fire burns over towards the fire and it never touches these trees. It literally ends the fire. A burn back, burning back in to the fire this way while the fire is coming at you from the other way um, stops the fire in its tracks. So this has been going on for over a decade. Now, this is a new technology with gasoline. The original technology, they drop these little balls that, that ignite when they hit the ground. But this footage is from the gasoline model, which is new, and there's a little less information about it. So let's take a look at the U.S. Forest Service fire lighting drone that's used for burn backs and fire breaks, called the Dragon Drone. Now, the reason this footage is so easily accessible is because it's from the U.S. Forest Service. It is not an agenda at play. It is for idiots that don't have any time to research anything and they just like to make shit up for views. So there's that. Any single person who claimed that this is some other group other than the U.S. Forest Service trying to save lives, you should unsubscribe to them because they don't do their due, due diligence and they're just conspiracy theorists pushing nonsense disinforming hundreds of thousands of people. It's almost embarrassing. They should be embarrassed. They should retract what they've said. They should put a video up and explain themselves on why they're so lazy. Did you know that 69 out of 347 public, age sa public safety agencies that purchased drones between 2009 and 2017 were fire departments? Well, now you do. Those are just some of the facts. And on March 6, 2017, FDNY, that's the fire department in New York, deployed its first ever tethered drone to respond to a four alarm fire. Firefighting drones are being used to fight fires. They monitor scenes. This is the first thing they were doing. They deploy aerial assets to overwatch within minutes of arrival on the scene. People can't do that. They can use thermals to find people in buildings. It's used for search and rescue. Post-fire or disaster assessment as well as wildland firefighting, which we just saw using the Dragon drone here with this little gasoline squirter to actually light forests on fire to prevent them from continuing to burn. Those are the facts. No conspiracy theories needed. Just think about the groups you're claiming were actually doing this. They don't have the capability, the moxie, 
or the scientific endeavor to ever pull this off, especially from the video footage you saw where it was perfectly laying down a line of napalm just to the one side of a fire break that already existed. How gullible are you? I suggest you all research a little bit about firefighting drones. I'll leave you links to this infographic. Y'all need to start back at the basics here at the wiki on drones and wildfire, wildfire management and the fact that they've been used for decades and that this fire lighting technology that everyone thinks is some uh, group lighting these fires. Yeah, the group's called the U.S. Forest Service and they're trying to save houses and lives, period. <laughs> Hope you got something out of the video. It's not all a conspiracy. But many conspiracy theorists know that they're lying to you on purpose. All they care about is their bottom line, and that's their bank account. They don't care. They have no integrity. And if they do, and they catch a glimpse of this video, maybe they'll do their own homework and retract their statements. Proper fire planning prevents piss poor performance when you believe that Antifa has the capability of lighting forests on fire with a drone. Because, guys, all you need is a pack of matches. Let's get real. And that is a boom to knowledge. Thank you, U.S. Forest Service, for saving lives. We appreciate it. And it couldn't be done, well, without the use of drones that fight fire. Be safe. We love you. Share this with like-minded people. And don't be a smurf. Delete that shit you shared yesterday. All right? Do it.